So I have a specific question. Are there any customers that you guys know of that uh, successfully did autopilot in a hybrid AD join? Are there any customers that you're aware of that have successfully done autopilot with hybrid join? They exist. I've seen them. Um, They're right here in this room. Yeah. It is just um, a royal pain, unfortunately, the, the way it was designed. There, there is a reason when you go to the documentation, there is a big purple or pink, I guess, warning uh, says, don't do this. Support it, but still don't do it. Um, for those of you that are like uh, new into the idea, um, I, I did put up some, some a good collection of, of resources uh, a while ago for it because I had to do it. Um, and the most important resource is the first one, uh, why you shouldn't. Read that one first. And then if you still need to, there are seven resources on how to troubleshoot it because that's what <laughs> you will be doing. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just, it can be made better. There are community solutions out there that pulls in a lot of script and try to make the timing and sync better. Uh, but it's just one of those really, really hard scenarios to work with. I get that some organizations that don't have a choice, but there are other options to enroll devices. And please note that hybrid and autopilot is only bad if they happen to be in the same sentence. Hybrid on its own is brilliant. Nothing wrong with that to keep being in hybrid mode. Eventually, you probably will go over to Android only, but that could be one year, it could be eight years down the road. Active Directory is not going away. It's where the device is born. The, having devices come online on your corporate network, join AD, and then just enroll them into Intune. Brilliant, super simple, one policy done. It's when you deploy them on Starbucks, that's where you have the problem. Very few Starbucks offices will have a direct line of sight to your domain control. It's quite rare. I hope so. <laughs> you never know. We'll make a good deal. Yeah. So I'm. I mean, we are trying a bit differently because uh, we are currently looking for the same solution. Because unfortunately, we don't have an option to go cloud only or cloud native because uh, we we still have a lot of group policies. You know, user policies still in AD. So if we want to use autopilot in my specific environment, then my only option is to go with autopilot with the hybrid join. So one of the pieces we're trying to do is we are, so we created a custom VIM and within the custom VIM, we added um, a zero trust uh, always on VPN client. So what it does is it will give you uninterrupted access to all of your domain controller is something what we're trying, but I mean, we're not successful yet. Um, so that's why I specifically asked the question, like, you know, any cases that, you know, it was successful. All right, thank you. That's, yeah. I, I, I think you, if you spent the time and effort you're spending to try to make hybrid autopilot work on getting your GPOs moved to Intune, you would have a much better Success rate. Yeah, it's not about moving It's also about the limitations that we can make certain things like that happens, right? And if I and then if I wanna use my domain slash my user account for some of the other applications, right? So those are not supported. So sure they are. Can you try to rephrase so, that, Adam, or repeat yeah. it? So yeah, so so he's he's saying so he's uh, LDAP. And um, using domain credentials to. Let's say I'm a bad developer. I incorporated some LDAP authentication within the code, right? So then I need to first fix that issue, correct? Uh, not sure. No. Did it stay correct? Unsure. So, I, I mean, I guess the, to kind of, uh, so you're in a difficult position. So one, I would, I would say, so just don't do autopilot, as Johan suggested, put your image on, 
and set the GPO to enroll it in Intune, done. Don't bother with autopilot. That's just complicating things. Unless you have a reason, like, like you said, you need to go deploy at Starbucks. If you've got your devices in the office, just build them with, a, your, with your current OSD solution and then just hybrid join them um, and get them into Intune with, with policy. Um, and I know it's probably more complex, complicated than that, um, but you know, that, that would be a, a better approach than struggling through hybrid autopilot uh, only to probably get six months down the road and just be like, my God, why did we do this? Um, but, but then, um, what was my other thought on that? Uh, just the, the, so we've just, I mean, we've, we're still going down the path of moving all of our Win 10 boxes to Win 11 and we're doing intra only as we go. We've got 9,000 devices and we've run into one application where it needed, it was doing single sign on and I, it was probably an LDAP type scenario where um, it was failing because it couldn't use the intra credential um, on the box to auth to the app. They found a workaround for it and we moved on. Um, they just had to make local, local accounts in the app to get past it. Out of 900 applications that we've got packaged and deployed from Intune, one. We had one that had an impact like that. Um, out of everything. And so all of your auth should largely work unless, unless you've got, I mean, maybe you've gone down this path and, um, uh, and you've identified specific things, but the, the easiest way to get there is, so start dog fooding it, build intra only boxes for everybody that needs to be on that and, you know, make your app developer, start running on it, make your app SMEs, start running on intra only, deliver them VMs, W365 boxes, whatever that are intra only and then start now, because it's going to be a while to get, it's going to take a long time to get there. You got to start sometime. So anyway, that's my, that's my soapbox on it. I don't want to drag everything out here. Um, uh, so for me, so, I mean, we've got 50% laptops and we've got always on VPN on those laptops. Um, but we've got, you know, probably, at least a, a thousand folks that are road warrior type people in that. So, I mean, we do have remote people, but all of our, all of our remote people came to the office to get devices. You can just, you can just OSD and ship, you know, I mean, so anyway, so, I'm, so I'm, 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 I'm hand it back over to you. I'm yeah, gonna... well, first of all, we have a question over here, but just to just comment on that one, we have you know, machines that, are, that, that cannot come to an office. I even seen uh, organizations sending out uh, VPN routers to locations just so that they can get going with our devices. Even small, tiny Miraki routers, or they send them to a conference center in that city and they ask the salespeople to waltz into that conference center over a day, and they have someone that can help them there to, to get them enrolled. So there are options there, that's not very fun options uh, to have to deal with, but it's, hybrid is painful. Uh, if you put in a lot of work to it, you, you can definitely make it, it, it work, but it just, yeah. Yes, sir. Wait, wait yeah. We, we, we have a um, ask. There, we open a new office in Australia. There is no physical network. Yeah. They're looking. So the management, they, I guess they've seen on the news autopilot and they know it's going to work. They think it's going to work. So they ask and ask, well, do an autopilot. Um, but there is nothing in a in tune yet. There is no security, nothing. So if they put in an AD connection to that office in Australia and we do an autopilot because there is no DP, there is no infrastructure. If they have a physical connection to the AD, doing the autopilot hybrid, is it still a problem? Well, uh, it is less of a problem if the machine can see the domain control already, because then you don't have to worry about that VPN client getting installed and it has to be a VPN client that is not just any VPN client that has been configured for device tunneling mm -hmm. with security team, they, they just don't like it. Uh, so that part goes away and it becomes easier but you still have the sync problem. The connector still needs to do their thing. Uh, Intune has to request the offline domain object for one connector. The other one had to sync eventually up. 
and you can still run into timing issues, but of course it's much less of an issue. But still so an issue. Could be, yeah. Okay. Could definitely be. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, just even that, uh, the offline domain join blob, we saw that taking at least 30 minutes when we were messing with hybrid, with, with hybrid autopilot, because yeah. your, wake, your, your, your AD connect um, agent that my domain admins run syncs every 30 minutes. And if you catch it at the beginning of that window, you've got to wait for the sync to occur for the join to complete on the on the intra side and then for the blob to then get synced over to the device to do its piece or i may have the order wrong but conceptually the idea of and so yeah you could be sitting literally sitting waiting for 30 minutes just for the blob for the for offline join to occur not a great experience yeah Every time you online, uh, uh, every time you autopilot a device, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, so the comment that you have the script that you run, or that's get triggered basically because, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a couple of comments online that are basically saying what we're talking about here in the room too. Um, Matt, who Johan and I have, have worked with, um, you know, as a hey, uh, Matt. know someone that uh, um, is doing autopilot hybrid, but they're doing it within the office. So, you know, the, the question there is, again, back to what you were saying earlier, Adam, why not just do config manager then, right? You have config manager set up, maybe go that route. Um, and, and Sean here adding, uh, trying to spend, you know, three years trying to get it working smoothly. So unless you really need to, and again, there are cases that you may need to, um, it's just not worth doing. I mean, it's so simple these days to get some sort of imaging going in-house. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just have to be enrolled, joined, done. Uh, the rest you can do through Intune. You just have to get there. Yep. We do autopilot prevision at the OEM, right? So um, we order, you know, we order X machines. We say, here's the machine models we want. Apply these group tags to these machines. And they do the autopilot prevision. Then when we get the machine, um, we'll just do some site finish up, and then we offhand it to the user because since we're a bank. We don't have a lot of remote people, right? Everyone's pretty much kind of in house. Yeah, but f f from a re reliability point of view, you can do cloud imaging today from a cloud management gateway. Stupidly reliable, simple, effective, and the device will end up being enrolled if you configure the sequence to do so. Can still achieve the same result, but with a solution that is more built for it. Whereas the hybrid autopilot is like an afterthought, like, oh darn, we need to support this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's almost like at this point, it's the question of, so what would you have done five years ago before this existed, or however long it's been? Like, if hybrid autopilot wasn't a thing, if autopilot wasn't a thing, what would you be doing for these devices? Just do that. Like, and then join them to Intune. Uh, I mean, that's the, if, if hybrid's the only, if, if it still needs to be hybrid, yeah, don't don't overcomplicate it with the autopilot piece of it. It just doesn't. I mean, we fought with it for a long time, and it just, man, as much as we wanted it to be a thing. Eh.